good afternoon. Also, the uh, large crowd in the back. I guess they all have bad batteries or something. Oh, it's electricity. Um, yeah, my presentation is from the browser. It's uh, five links in five minutes. Uh, they're all related to web ODF, but the last one involves cats. And, well, <laughs> that should be very interesting to everybody. Uh, the first one is Viewer.js. Uh, why is it called Viewer.js? Because uh, it's a program called Viewer.js, which basically is an ODT, a PDF, an ODP viewer, which you can add into your web page with only one line of HTML. And, uh, well, you can use it to go full screen. I assume this means yes. No, it means no. <laughs> so this one. <coughs> yeah, so this is the first part, the first link. What is Web ODF? I guess most people might have heard from it already. It's basically an ODF viewer and editor in, uh, written purely in JavaScript, which you can run in any browser. Um, so why, why is this cool? It means you have a completely uh, client-side JavaScript uh, ODF editor, so it's very easy to deploy across your whole organization. Anybody on the web, uh, you can give access to editing your files if you want to very easily. It's completely safe because it runs in the browser, so assuming your browser is safe, it is safe. There's no conversion loss. Uh, we had a lot of talks here about how to deal with uh, people editing alternatively in Word, in LibreOffice, in Word, in LibreOffice again, and what, what goes lost, what goes wrong. Now if you have an edit chain where you go from LibreOffice to WebODF to LibreOffice to WebODF, you will lose guaranteed nothing because LibreOffice only touches what it actually edits, and every uh, XML element which is in there, it will completely keep. Um, yeah, it's for small and fast. It is smaller than the, than the average document. So, what's not to like? Um, well, we've existed si since 2010. If you go to GitHub, you can see we're very active. Um, the viewer, yes, you're looking at it now. I'm just going to skip through these slides. Since uh, uh, the version 0.5 we released a couple of months ago, um, we have a very convenient component for editing. It's also uh, it's very easy to reuse in your application. Um, WebODF is used in a commercial closed source application as well. This is a desktop application for doing research papers. And uh, the people there said, yeah, we want to use this JavaScript uh, library simply uh, not because it's JavaScript, but because it's very nicely cross-platform. Cross and it's easy to bundle with our application. WebODF is also uh, bundled with the latest uh, own cloud, and there you can have collaborative real-time editing, which I'll be de demoing shortly. Uh, I'm going to skip this slide as well, because <coughs> I want to do five links in five minutes, which might turn, prove to be tricky. So what's the second link? This is our editor. If you go to our web page, you can see this editor as well. You can just click on it. You can open documents in it and start editing. They won't be uploaded to any server. They'll just be edited in your browser at that point, and you can save them back again. Um, yeah, this is just an example of a uh, document. It's quite simple. Um, well, this document is about an animal hospital. It might be related to the cats later, but we, I don't know <coughs> exactly yet. So the last link, oh, so the third link is collaboration. We made a small collaboration server here. I loaded some LibreOffice documentation in it, and I see that there are quite a number of unknown authors here already who are checking out this document. Not sure if they've been editing stuff as well. Who is in this document? Can you put your hand up? One guy. Oh, I don't know who the, who the all the other and oh two of the other anonymous guys are. I see they haven't been. Ah, somebody has been typing some nice stuff. No advertisements yet. I've seen worse in live demos. Uh, okay, two more links to go. I hope I'm making it. Split screen. What is split screen? This is what we use to do uh, debugging of collaborative editing. Basically, I have two documents here. I can go edit on this side, and you'll see immediately that it's also happening on the other side. I can put a, a network delay in here of one millisecond to make it faster, or I can put a whole second in, and uh, yeah. So that this is just what we are using to do our edit, our testing. Now, um, ideally, you would edit, you would do the uh, edit testing with more than one person. But developers are usually a bit lonely; they're sitting alone behind the machine. Um, so we have a virtual cat, which will help us to uh, have uh, unexpected behavior. 
like a page of loading. Ah, there it is. So yes, um, here on the left and right side, we have cats walking across the keyboard and messing up the document. Um, yeah, okay, thank you.